All right, so I kind of wanted to um, bring this up because in actually editing this video, um, I got a copyright strike, and I'll put it on the screen here, from Merlin uh, CDLTD. I got a copyright strike from them. And on top of that, um, I'm going to put various links um, or pictures on top of the screen um, at certain points. So I kind of wanted to explain that. Um, throughout the video, you may see um, like copyright pictures and stuff like that. Um, that essentially is just me putting that stuff up there so you can see. Mostly because I could not get a hold of Merlin, which is the host company of this alleged CDTLD company. Um, I tried to get a contact with them. They have not replied to my email, and I really want to get this, e this uh, video out. And I will update the description of this video um, should they actually get a hold of me. Um, Again, I, I know my hair is bad, um, but it was actually on my stream that I was listening to No Copyright Sounds, which I did contribute to them down in the description. I always link them, no matter if I use music in that video or not. I always link them because I believe what they're doing is right, is just, and it's bullshit that I'm getting hit with these claims now and frankly as you will see later it is illegal like uh, let me pull it up okay um, some things that you can that when you're going through the um, analysis process and you're applying for copyright permission because I just applied for it today actually like right after my stream ended I started uploading the video and I applied for copyright permissions um, which now it's probably gonna get denied because of this damn dispute um, but anyway it goes um, when you're applying you have to select two check boxes um, that state first I acknowledge that under section 512 F of the DCMA sorry DMCA any person who knowingly materially re uh, misrepresents that material or activity is infringing may be subject to liability for damages. You have to check that tick box. And you have to check the tick box that you understand that the tool is only for submitting notifications of alleged copyright infringement. And the abuse of it will result in the termination of access to YouTube. Which means that if Merlin is found out, like the CDLT company, I don't, I don't give a damn if I'm saying their name right. They don't deserve to get their name said correctly. Um, this means that they will be permanently terminated. Now, what's even better is that they have to check a checkbox every time that they file that states, under penalty of pre-jury. I am authorized to act on behalf of the owner on an exclusive on an of an exclusive right that is allegedly infringed, which means that they can be sent to the court of law. Again, as I say in the video, I know nothing about law, but I know that that states that plain and clear, which you probably look you just probably looked at it. Um and again, it states that the abuse of the tool will result in termination of my YouTube account. Um, this notification is accurate. Um, I, I have a good faith belief that the use of material in the manner it has uh, uh, complained of is not authorized by the copyright owner, its agent, or the law. Which essentially means that I knowingly know that this is my content or I am authorized to use this content. So essentially Merlin, you just fucked yourself by tagging by flagging one of my videos, which I will be disputing. Um but by flagging one of my videos, which I happened to be making a video about you flagging videos. 
you unknowingly just fucked yourself. Because now there is physical proof that can send you to court and even to federal prison. Which, sure, it's only like 50 years that you'll be in prison. But your company, as I pointed out in the video, won't be lasting long. So let me see if I have another picture uh, to... Uh, Oh, there. It's backwards, I think. Yeah. Um, yeah, there... Um, if you... Actually, I'm going to put this up on the screen. Um, but it states when you are signing in for the first time on the Content Verification Program Application System, it states... Be aware that there may be adverse legal consequences, consequences in your country if you make a false or bad faith, bad faith allegation of copyright infringement by using this process, by going through the uh, CVP process. There can be adverse legal consequences. Now, the only catch to this is if they are not in the United States or in a country that is on that list, which there was like five or six, I think. I didn't go through. I just selected the United States. But the fact is they can easily slip away. And it's with all of my money, all of Barnacle's money. Everyone has been affected. Everyone. So, all aboard the uh, civil suit case, I guess. Um, but I've already made this little section a little too long. So, go ahead and continue watching the actual video. This I just wanted to pop in here just so that I could uh, point out that uh, this company made a big dumb. And frankly, they need to stop before they're before it's too late they need to stop and i'm sorry if i'm laggy i'm trying to record this at 60 fps so and my webcam doesn't record at 60 fps so upscaling yeah but anyway thank you uh for watching this little bit and i hope it explains some of the misplaced pictures later on um but yeah into the video Alright, so I wanted to just take this time to sit down and talk with you guys. Um, there's been a lot of things that have come up recently with um, where's the fair use, and I personally would like to weigh in on this. Um, now, most of this is purely speculation, so follow along if you will. Um, but again, pretty much none of this can be proven unless the parties that I'm speaking about can actually come forward and say something. And in the case that I do speak with one of the parties, um, I will include that recording uh, a little later on. Um, so the biggest thing is this Merlin company. Well, I did some research last night before I went to bed, and I found out that Merlin is actually a record label. Um, they've signed with Sony Music Group um, and a few others, in including Warner Music Group, um, and that's, like, big. So, is it really that far-fetched to believe that they have assets that do that? No, not really. Um, but on the Reddit post, yes, Reddit post, um, they, this company, and I put company in air quotes, um, this Merlin company, this DJC, hold on, this, uh, Merlin CDLTD, um, is claiming that it's a controversy 
and that they are, in fact, a real company. Now, here's where it's hard to believe, because this right here is the picture that they posted on the Reddit post on Imgur of their business, which is a kid in a lunchroom with other kids holding up a piece of paper with the company name that was handwritten on there. So, it begs me to ask, what is this company's true intentions, if they are in fact a company? Which, I've searched the BBB, the Better Business Bureau, and I can't find anything on them. Nothing. Now, that's not to say that it's not, in fact, a business. Um, however, when you look it up, it doesn't exist. It's not on Google, minus the complaints. So, they don't have a professional front, they don't have a website, and their lunchroom appears to look a lot like a Google conference room, or a Google workroom. So let me ask this. What if Alphabet, the company who bought Google, had thought all of this through? What if they are planning the downfall of YouTube? So, yeah, um, Merlin, back to them and Alphabet. Um, the reason that I'm wondering this is, in their press release when they purchased Google, Alphabet stated that they have no intention on continuing expanding the Google platform as a whole, meaning that the search engine may fall by the wayside, but the big projects that were directly addressed by name were YouTube and the Chromium browser, or the source code for Chromium. They said that they have no interest in the browser or expanding YouTube past its point, and that they believe that they are failing platforms. Well, research actually shows that both of that is incorrect. So unless they planned something, they wouldn't have said that, especially now with all of this happening for the third time. That's right, every two years since 2011, this has happened. In 2011, most people were receiving these claims by a different company, obviously not by Merlin, as it hadn't been really formulated by then, and it hadn't even signed record labels with the YouTube at the time. So if you go through a little bit of the history, if Wikipedia can believe, they were signed on with YouTube around the same time, around 2011-2013. But, it started in early 2011, and the events happened where the record label Merlin signed with YouTube late 2011 to early 2013. So, it's kind of a little fishy if you ask me. But on top of that, 2011, people threatened YouTube with open assault for um, the class action lawsuits. However, it never went through and was never actually officially addressed by the court of law until someone pulled open a court case in 2013. However, it, it was believed that Google bought out the court and paid off the decision. However, that again is mostly speculation on my part and most of the internet. Um, so, if the internet is to be believed, all that YouTube has been telling us is a lie. And really, all that Alphabet has been telling us. They've been planning the downfall of YouTube for a while. 
And should this information go public, if it is in fact true, it could lead to the biggest technology revolution that we've ever seen. Now granted, that sounds cool, but at the same time it hurts all of your favorite YouTubers. Now what happened in 2013 and 2011, both respectively, was while this was going on, YouTube was actually having an internal debate with Google. And many CEOs went through during that time. If you look at the CEO page, right now it's some uh, Susan Kowinski or Kazaki? I'll put her picture here. Um, but she was recently replaced, or she was put into place by Google before the purchase was made. Now, thanks to the contract that Google made Alphabet sign, Google is still in control of all of the intellectual property that they own for 15 years, even though the company Alphabet owns the name for that duration of the time. So that means that projects like um, Google Aura and various projects like that can still proceed forward. However, if it's not in direct contribution to what Alphabet wants, then they don't want anything to do with it. So in 2011, two CEOs was pushed out of the company, and in 2013, one CEO, after the court case went through and was denied by the court, was also fired from uh, YouTube as the head director CEO of YouTube. And now we're seeing the same situation. It started early 2015, which goes in line with the every two year scheme that I believe Alphabet had been planning. Although you may be asking, why would Alphabet plan the downfall of one of the largest money makers? Because honestly, it is. But here's the thing. If they push creators away, they're going to have premium content that people are going to pay for, albeit YouTube Red. So that's where YouTube Red has come in. So I'm pretty sure that was planned by uh, Alphabet in some way, but Again, that's just conspiracy theory right there, and I don't officially know. And again, no one is going to come out and say that, yes, Alphabet is doing this. But again, who is the CTDLT, or whatever their name is? Who are they and what, what do they want? Like, who is this Merlin? Now, again, as I mentioned, I will put in the case that I actually get a hold of Merlin International, I will put the recorded phone call in the case that they give me permission. I will put that around this point, um, but obviously if it's not there, they didn't give me permission or I couldn't get a hold of them. I'll put like an annotation or something up here um, during video editing when if I can get a hold of them or not. Um, so that's really, really... It sucks because it sounds really cool that this could be the biggest technology revolution of all time. I mean, if this got out officially from official channels, like Alphabet's main channel, that they are essentially corrupting their own sub-companies like YouTube, Google, uh, etc. If, if that comes out, their market share would be crushed. Like, they would not have any money left. It would be worse than when Apple had their little falling out with Steve Jobs and all of that. It'd be worse than that. Because if you think about it, 
there are only two main companies that would come in and swoop everything up. Either Facebook or Microsoft. And if Microsoft came back in and swooped up the Google platform, including Motorola and Android, they would almost be unstoppable. But that aside, Google could step up to the plate and take back their own company with the money that Alphabet paid them, or is paying them. They could literally walk up to Alphabet, say, we're going to buy your whole company, including all of our assets back, all of your assets, and all of your assets' assets. So this really could be the beginning of the end of technology as we know it today. Because if one of those big, high-tier companies gets a hold of Google, especially if Microsoft gets a hold of Google, I would be afraid to find out what happens next. But at the same time, I'm intrigued. But I also know that it hurts me and it hurts you as the viewer. It hurts me as a creator because as soon as I upload this video, if Alphabet doesn't like what I'm saying, they can take it down. And if Google decides, oh, well, we don't like what you're saying either, they can take it down. If this Merlin company decides, oh, we want to take your money for this conspiracy theory, or we don't like this conspiracy theory, they can take modernization, or take it down, or both. And that is what is truly terrifying, is a kid in college, or a single person, can set into motion a million happenings. I mean, even Matthew Santoro is getting hit. One of the largest YouTube personalities to date. Markiplier. All of these big names are getting hit. And it has to stop. So, I don't care if you share this video, if you like it, subscribe, I don't care. Because if this video stays up, it's a testament that the company is afraid. And they should be. Because behind this platform is billions of people who want to see their famous YouTubers. Who want to see everything. Who want to click on a video and watch it. So once you start making a noise, once you go out and tell all of your friends, tell your family, share it on Twitter, share it on Facebook, share it on Google+, but no one uses Google+, share it anywhere. Because every share that happens, ten more people will find out about it. Eight of them will click on the video. Seven of them will share the video. That's because you, a single person, now have the power with the internet to change everything. To change the way the game is played. Because right now, Alphabet is playing with you. They are playing you, they are playing me, they are playing Matthew, they are playing... Uh, Every single YouTuber, they're fucking with us. And frankly, I'm sick of it. Every YouTuber who makes money off of this platform is sick of it. I don't get paid for this. Sure, you may see ads, but unless I make $100 on those ads, I don't get shit. So what you need to do is share. Tell everyone about this. Because if large companies like this are allowed to step all over our freedoms and our rights, 
as grade A, you can check out his videos up here, as Channel Awesome, I think is what it is, all of these channels, and I'm going to link as many as I can in cards, as they pointed out, this is illegal. It's going against every cardinal right that we have as human beings. It's going against our freedom of speech. It's breaking the law as free as uh, free use and all of that shit. And I'm no lawyer. I won't be the first to say that I don't... Well, I will be the first to say, I guess I should say, that I don't know shit about the lawyer part, the legal part of this. All I know is that it's bullshit. And if you let companies trample your rights to be a human, to be a person, then what you are doing is hiding behind that company. So if you're sick and fed up with all of this corporate backlash, all the corporate bullshit, share, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone. Because it's time. The kit gloves are off. YouTube, Google, and Alphabet. I challenge you. Try and take down this video. Because once you see the internet, once the internet happens, it can't be undone. So what you are doing is starting a huge war. So don't test us. Don't try us. Because we will retaliate in full. Now, am I a terrorist for saying that? Probably. Someone will say so. But the fact is, I am fucking sick of sitting here at my computer and hearing this shit happening to my favorite YouTubers, pushing them off of the platform. I am sick of getting false copyright claims because of a broken system that was built years ago to fancy the rich. So how about you grow up, YouTube? How about you grow up, Alphabet? How about you all grow up? So, if you liked the video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Tell Alphabet that I sent you. But, in the case that you like this video, I release videos like this, miscellaneous slash rant slash everything videos, on Monday and Thursday I release gameplays, Friday I release my streams, and Saturday or Sunday I release a vlog. Kind of like this, but it's more random. This is more subjective and on point. Um, so, if you like the video, be sure to give it a big old thumbs up. Again, um, comment down below telling me your opinions, telling Google your opinions if they ever read these, if they ever watch or read these videos. Um, I'm going to link a bunch of people up in cards and down in the description in, in the case that you're on mobile. I'm, I'm not sure how well cards works on uh, mobile. I haven't really tried it. So, but in the case that you uh, do like the video, again, subscribe. I do release content like this kind of every every day, almost. Pretty much every day. So yeah, I'm going to thank everyone for watching. I'm sorry if you don't like rants, but I had to get it off my chest. So, thank you again for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! Yeah.